position and that she's you know forced being forced to come back and, and join the fold so to speak in order to save the company um, you know obviously you know you have you know a, you have a lot of uh, you know background in this type of you know, the supernatural and work, work, uh, working on Buffy how, how much of that influenced your your writing of the story um I guess, I guess it kind of has to, doesn't it? You work on a TV show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and you, you, your, your brain kind of has to start going in that direction. Um, I've always loved science fiction. I read a lot of it uh, growing up. I love horror, like mysteries. Um, so I guess, I guess I've always kind of been this way. And then, like I said, you, you start working on a TV show where you have lunch with vampires, and you're sort of in trouble. Um, <laughs> But I, I feel like I feel like what's so wonderful about like the fantasy genre, which includes like horror and and science fiction and and dark fantasy, all of it put together, is that you can talk about really thoughtful subject matter without like getting on a soapbox and preaching at people. That was what was so wonderful about Buffy. I felt was that you know you could deal with homosexuality and you don't even have to talk about it. You just oh we were doing spells. And that was sort of like the placeholder for this burgeoning relationship between Willow and Tara. Um, and I, I think, you know, Joss is a master, Joss Whedon is a master of talking about important things without preaching at you. And I wanted to do that as well. I feel like with Death's Daughter, we're, you know, we're, we're not really dealing with heavy subject matter. It's, it's a much lighter fare, but I wanted to take mythology and religion, something that I'm very interested in. I love Joseph Campbell, the hero of a thousand faces. Um, and, and I wanted to, to, to give uh, I wanted to give voice to a female protagonist who was sort of set on this hero's quest. I feel like a lot of women in urban fantasy, they're given this like power and they never really question it. They just are sort of like, okay, well, I've got this crazy kick-ass power, now I can go kill things. And, uh, and what was so great about Buffy is that she did question it. She was like, I don't want to be this way. I want to be normal. And I, I just, or, I think I was really inspired by that with, with my character, Callie. I wanted her to be flawed. I wanted her to, to question this. I wanted her to be like, no, I'm not going and doing this. I, I have a real life somewhere. You know, I don't want to be a part of this. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I, I was totally influenced by by the supernatural craziness that my life has been in the past like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> well.